All right, I want to show you something that I've had for a couple months, and uh, I think it's time to start cracking these things open and see what we got. So, hang on and let's talk about it. So we've got a lot done on the van, and uh, it's almost livable. A uh, couple of things to finish up here and there. Well, actually, a lot of crap to finish up here and there. But uh, we're getting to that stage now where we start talking about power. And so I want to do a little unboxing and show you uh, what we're going to have for power. Let's do it. All right, so let's pop this open and see what we have inside. Alright, so these are uh, well packaged. Big old chunk of foam. We have ourselves an Anderson connection. Plastic. Now let's pull out our power source. La la! So after some time of uh, research and different types of batteries and whatnot that you can put in these vans, uh, lead acid batteries were a no for me. Uh, AGM, although uh, are less expensive, they uh, they would work, but you're limited on the percentage of the battery that you can use. And for the power that I wanted, uh, it would have taken about four four batteries, and those don't uh, well let's say they weigh a lot so I went with big battery and uh, not only did I go with one big battery I went with two big batteries so this is what I'm gonna put in the van and uh, these are quite small as far as a size goes they do have a couple of handles here which I will probably remove when I get ready to uh, do the install and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with these. So before we go any farther, I'll throw a spec sheet on the screen and uh, tell you just a little bit about it. So these batteries are the Almax and they're both uh, 12 volts. These are the lithium iron phosphate batteries and uh, your charging range is anywhere from 13.9 to 14.5 volts. Your max charge voltage is uh, 14.7 volts and the operating range for that voltage is about 9.8 to 14.6. Each one of these batteries has a uh, kilowatt hour of uh, 3,000 kilowatt hours. So that's 6,000 combined for the both batteries. The amp hours on these are 228 each, so it gives me a total of 456 amp hours. Uh, the continuous discharge on the uh, maximum uh, amps is about 175 and the uh, maximum continuous power and wattage that you can use is 2240. Um, the max uh, charge current amp is about 175 so uh, I don't have anything that's going to push that limit and each one of these little batteries weigh in at just 47 pounds so consider 456 amp hours and I'm, I'm getting a total of about 104 or 94 pounds. Uh, length of these, as far as the dimension goes, so we're at 10 and a quarter by 7 and a quarter and 12 inches on the height. And so these uh, safety features that are included in this is the battery management system. You have an over voltage, under voltage, and over current, and a little thermal management system for safety features. And you can tie in about eight of these at, in uh, one shot, but we're just going to use two. So these are uh, quite nice little uh, units, and I'm pretty happy with them. So like I said, they do use the Anderson plug. Each one comes with its own cable, uh, which is here. 
and just a little spec sheet here on the side. You can freeze frame that if you like. Take a look at that. And also included in each one of these has a 300 amp fuse. So on the inside there's a fuse in here that, uh, you know, just in case of an overload, you're not going to ruin your system. So that's, that's pretty cool. And like I said, I've had these sitting in my house for a couple of months and uh, surprisingly one of the other nice little features that I really like about these batteries is it has an on and off so if I push this button we currently have 13.2 volts reading on each battery so they've been like I said sitting in my house for several months and uh, they still have a full charge I'm happy about that and whenever not in use we just turn those off and uh, nice little added feature. So let me show you some other little pretties I've got to go along with this. So like I said they both come with a uh, set of cables for each battery and then to tie them together we have a parallel bus bar and so we'll take that we'll get it mounted Anderson plug goes in one cables on this side, got another one, cables on this side, and then we have uh, your positive and negative. So we'll be able to go from the batteries to this, and then from this, then we can go out to some other little cool devices. Let me show you what those are. And to power all my 110 accessories and needs and wants and anything else in between, I do have a Renergy 3000 watt inverter. And it also comes with uh, a little remote on and off switch that's wired. And uh, so we'll have that installed, be able to turn it on and off whenever needed. And uh, so that's going to provide plenty of power. What else do we have? So to help charge these big bad boys up as we're driving, we also have a Renogy 40 amp DC to DC charger that we'll be installing and get that set up. And that should keep the batteries topped off whenever we're cruising from spot to spot. So, batteries, inverter, charger. What else do we have? Alright, so to uh, be able to keep a little bit of an eye on our investment, we also have a Linux battery monitor. Which uh, does come with the monitor, the cables, and a shunt that we can hook up to the negative post and be able to monitor what's going in, what's coming out, and the status of our big boys here. And so that's going to help complete this ensemble. What else do we have? And to start tying everything together so we start having power throughout the house, we do have some uh, 16 gauge wire, we have some 12 gauge wire, and we also have some uh, 12 volt bus bars here that we'll be using, fuse blocks, sorry. I got three of those. I don't know how I ended up with three, but uh, we may or may not use them all. And then we've got a couple of bus bars here that we'll tie from our parallel bus bar into these and start distributing our uh, power. I've got a bunch of switches, more lights, uh, more accessories and things that I ran out of room on the table to put these things. So anyway, this is my powerhouse and uh, it's probably overkill. <laughs> More than enough power. Not only do I have all of this, but sitting in the back of the van in another big box uh, from Renergy, I have uh, 400 watts of solar power just waiting to come out and enjoy the sunshine. So whenever I get around to putting on some sort of roof rack, we'll get those installed, run those in. We also have a uh, uh, controller, battery controller, that will run from the solar panels into the batteries. So all of this needs to get installed at some point. But I think, uh, I think what I'm more curious about is will these set in the place that I th think I know where I want them. So see if I have enough room, enough space, if these batteries aren't too big, which I don't think they are, but at any rate, let's, uh, let's set one out in the van, take a look at it, and then uh, see what we think. 
All right, so here's a big box of solar power. And on this side, I have my uh, power supply hooked up, makeshift, so I can have lights in the van. But I'm thinking right here on top of the wheel well that I built this box for, that we're going to go ahead and install the battery. So what I want to do is set one of the one of these batteries up here and uh, just see how much of an overhang that we have. Will it even fit? Uh, will it clear everything under here? And uh, yeah, so let's set one in there and take a look. And there we go. Yes, it sits. <laughs> it's almost like I made everything for it. So I have about a half inch overhang right here, which is just fine because I can put my straps and uh, be able to tie everything down. And I have more than enough room for two batteries. A lamb on the side with the Anderson connectors coming out the top. We'll loop those down into our parallel bus bar and then we can start putting some power in this thing. So I need to get some, uh, probably some pad eyes, probably some two inch wide, and get some strapping. That way I can strap the batteries down and also uh, front and back so it keeps it in place. I think that's what I'm gonna use. Stainless steel, tie those in here, strap it down on both sides, do that with both batteries and uh, be good to go there. Then the rest of the equipment that I have will start mounting on the face uh, of our panel here and then we may put a bulkhead wall uh, just kind of shield everything. We'll start putting some fuse blocks here on the back on both sides and uh, probably DC DC charger up front. That way it's out of sight, out of mind, and doing its job. So, happy with that. Let me take this thing back out, put it in the house. I don't want to leave it out here in the van. And, uh, yeah, because if I drive away, this is going to slide off and uh, crush my stuff. We don't want no stuff crushing. All right, hang on. All right, guys. So, that's it for the powertrain. And uh, now all that's left to do is just get everything installed. But I still have a lot of parts I need to order, get here before I can start thinking about uh, putting these in. We'll have to take off these straps so everything lays in there nice and pretty like. And uh, But I, I want to make sure that when I put these in, they don't move around or go anywhere. And uh, then we can start getting things wired up. And in the meantime, while things are uh, being shipped, waiting to arrive, who knows where they're coming from, I think we're going to work on the uh, area above the sliding door. So uh, I got some templates I want to make. I have an idea of what I want to see, and then we'll get that installed and see what it looks like if I like it at all. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'm glad that you made it this far, and appreciate you watching. Uh, enjoy all the comments, and I hope. Uh, if you see something interested, let me know. I'll, I can uh, let you know where I got them. Uh, just so you know, these are not cheap. I think the uh, batteries and the bus bar uh, and the Anderson cables and everything like that come in around $2,400, $2,500. $2, but uh, BigBattery.com hosts sales all the time, and uh, you can find codes for about 10% off, so you can save yourself uh, $200, $300. So uh, they're not sponsoring me and uh, they don't know anything about my video here. So bigbattery.com, if you're listening, send more. I could use them or I'll find use for them. At any rate, hey, thanks for watching the channel and uh, appreciate every one of you. And until next time, please stay tuned.